First, I would not recommend you read the King James Bible. It's very archaic and creates a kind of fog between you and what's written, because you don't speak English that way today. But if, if the King James is the only Bible you have, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good Bible. Let me say that 98% of all Bibles are true in every verse. That might be an exaggeration. But the mistakes and errors are blatant in one or two verses. So I would, I would recommend you use the New American Standard. You can use the Net Bible there. I wouldn't use the New International. It has a number of blatant mistakes. Like it says that Jesus said of himself that he was going back to the Father. That's a falsehood. Jesus never said he was going back to the Father. The, the New International Version there made that out, the NIV. So leave the NIV out of it and go to the New American Standard Updated Version. There are good paraphrases, but they're a little bit free and easy here and there. The NLT is a nice paraphrase in many ways. You can also read the Revised Standard Version or the New Revised Standard Version. I have found the Catholic Bibles yes. to be very good, like the Amen. Jerusalem Bible of Absolutely. 1970, which is not online, so you have to get a physical copy. Right, good point. But I would also recommend the Holman. I'm starting to take Absolutely. a good liking to, Holman Christian Absolutely. Standard. And as mm -hmm. you said, the NET, which has an excellent website, because the website, if you search it, has copious amounts of footnotes, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's an, a good sort of paraphrase literal translation. And it's good also because uh, the yep. noted textual scholar Daniel Wallace was on the committee of the translation. So yes. he has some good. Yes. Things. So basically I, yes. be a good Berean, in my estimation, mm -hmm. if you have the time and the means, obviously try and learn the original languages.